Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Since last time, I've rearranged my gym as I have listed in the video description there. My equipment, though, is the same as before. I haven't touched that. Now, the path to the right there is just a dead end, so no point in going there. But if you go over here, we can push that pillar to drop all the way down there where we had that little spot in the ground there that looked rather conspicuous. And in order to take advantage of the pillar now, we need to drop back down here. And let's see. Well, arid heat wouldn't do what we want to do. So let's use cold snap. Whoa! I think you overdid it there, Reef. So we could have done this before and then do an ice sliding puzzle here. But without that pillar in the way, we wouldn't have been able to get over here, which is where we really need to go. Let's see, up top there, there's a pillar to push down, but even from the top of those stairs, you wouldn't be able to reach it with the move synergy. You're just too far away. But I'm not too far from meeting a new enemy, Creeper. Let's see, that guy is weak to Jupiter, being a flying type enemy, of course. So let's see what we can do here. Get, uh, yeah, Jin to finish that guy off. And then, since I have no weapon mastery to work on, now I can feel free to use things like the Arid Heat Synergy, or the fan Arid Scorch there, or you can use Shuriken on a group of enemies, whatever you want. Or there is that, uh, what is it? The Cold Stamp Synergy family that Reef had. I could do that, too. But I want to get at least Jin kills, even if I have no weapon mastery, to develop right now. This will change in the very near future. Okay, so, another ice sliding puzzle. I'm not exactly sure how freezing the area below freezes the area up here, but okay. So yeah, just slide around like that. In order to get to the chest in the middle there, yeah, you gotta walk all the way around, and then we can pick it up. Fortunately, it's not embedded in the ice or covered with snow, or anything like that. No, you can pick it up just fine there, and we get an upgrade there for Tyrell's Axe. Pretty big upgrade on the attack power, and some new weapon mastery to develop. Hooray! Okay, so, yeah, the exit to the next part is in the lower right, so just slide around like we did before, and then we can continue onward, and hopefully I'll get a battle or two before we get to the end here. So, in order to go to the next part, on the right there, yeah, you need to push the pillar down so we can actually jump over there. To find another new enemy! Chimera Man! Let's see, this guy is actually weak to Mercury! But I would like to get in a couple hits with Tyrell there. I think I can get in two hits without killing the guy, and then I can finish it off with a Mercury Genie. Well, if I crit like that twice, then, okay, I won't be able to, or I will kill the guy without the Jin helping out. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, we're still good. But yeah, Chimera Mage gives a lot of experience, so definitely want to make sure you get the Jin kill there to better take advantage of that. Uh, let's see, the Chimera Mage can inflict the Venom or st Seal status on you, so that could be annoying. Let's see, the Creeper, there's nothing really special about that guy. Okay, so over here, yeah, the Pillar of Ice extends all the way up here. So, now that we've gotten past all the ice puzzlery, let's get rid of it. And, well, we could melt it. Well, that was fast. You're pretty good at that, Tyrell. Okay, so now we got that out of the way, we can get to the end, the beginning, wherever we end up uh, uh, in the dungeon. Ah, haha, well this is just before the start of the dungeon there, and we're right back where we started, but on the other side here. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, before jumping onto that last platform, let's rearrange some of our gin. Most notably, I want to give Forge to Reef there so that he can buff up 
our entire party there. And then I want to... I, I've got the Mist and Spout Gin equipped the way I do, purely for the Strength Boost. Not because I actually plan to use those. But I do plan on Reef being able to unleash Forge before we start attacking and everything like that. So, yeah, not too big of a change there, but I'll list it in the video description there, too. Whoa! <laughs> what do you mean, an insane maze? This is nothing compared to, like, Air's Rock. Holy cow, that was a big dungeon. And there are bigger dungeons, way bigger dungeons in this game. Well, I don't care why it's here. <laughs> Poor Reef. You're the butt of every joke. For boss time against Sludge. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that, but... Okay, so, let's see. Sludge is accompanied by various skulls there. I could use Shuriken on all of them, but I really want to take out the Haunt Skull because it can hit, or it can inflict... Well, what status do you think it can inflict on you? If you say poison, I'm going to hit you. Now, it can inflict the haunt status, and the only way I have of dealing with that is with the Dew Drop Genie. So, in the, the haunt skull has quite a bit of HP. So, I want to use Death Plunge, because it's weak to Jupiter. All of the enemies in this battle are weak to Jupiter there. Take that guy out, and then we're good. And let's see, one more high impact will max out our attack power. And then I want to take out the Shield Skull. Unfortunately, the Shield Skull can use, well, can use a shield on Sludge there. And it has priority or initiative in battle, so I can't get in my hits on Sludge before it does that. So... Yeah, we'll take that guy out. Sludge can summon more skulls to aid it. I think there's only one different one, though. A Cursed Skull, which can inflict the Death Curse status, as well as inflict instant death on you. Fortunately, I have Matthew and Reef with the Revive Synergy, so if anyone dies, I can use that. I don't have to use the more fickle Cinder or Jolt Gen to get the job done. Love the animation for Death Plunge there. Not as impressive as suplexing the train that is barreling down on you, but still pretty good. Okay, so yeah, we gotta take that guy out there. Nice thing about Shuriken is that it's a multiplier synergy based on your physical attack stat. And since everything here is weak to Jupiter, we can further take advantage of that. So Shuriken is something I like to have Matthew do in random battles if I'm just trying to soften up enemies and I don't have any weapon mastery to develop at the time. Though Arid Scorch is certainly more powerful, unless they are weak to Jupiter. Okay, so I think we almost got the guy. Let me see what my agility's like. Yeah, I don't have the agility with... I was thinking about maybe getting one more hit in there with Tyrell there, but I can't guarantee that he'll act before anyone else, so I'll just go with my Jupiter, unleashing the Jupiter Gen and calling it a day. Yeah, part of how I arranged my Gen for Reef there was so that he could have access to both single targeting and multi-targeting healing, as well as the revive synergy there. But alright! Got him! Yeah, look at that experience! We're getting like two levels per character. <laughs> Holy cow! I would have brought in Amiti to partake in that experience, but Reef needed it more, and I'm gonna bring in Amiti very soon, because we're gonna get another weapon! for him before Karis or uh, Reef there. We were just fighting it a moment ago. 
Well, I thought that was a dream, and... Well, it was here, too, I guess. Hiding inside a mound of dirt there where the hole was? I don't know. Oh! Good for the tree! Oh, water? You mean just, like, ordinary water, or...? Oh. Well, you're welcome. Good for you. Oh, well, yeah, that is true. Maybe they'll give us a discount on the shops. You never know until you try. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not going to pick up that tusk yet because some of the townspeople have some other things to say about our progress here. Well, what do you mean? Well, I guess the tree is looking rather purple still but yeah if you recall i was saying in the previous episode that about the dream leaf uh, encyclopedia entry in the european version from what i heard you couldn't get it before like you do in the north american version so if you want to get that entry in your encyclopedia let's see i i don't know which one of these guys it is I think one of them would have a dream leaf entry there that you could add to your uh what is it add to your encyclopedia there ah okay well i would imagine that's where the entry would be there but you have to talk to them after you defeat sludge but before you pick up the tusk on the ground there, or else that guy will leave, and that's it. I don't know why he's so upset about me killing off the lizard dream devourer thing, whatever it was doing. Oh, yeah, we did pick up that water, didn't we? Yeah, we should uh, put that to use there. Why not? And as you can see from the top there, yeah, you can get into the dream tree now, but I'm just gonna get this done first, and then we can go take care of all that. And for defeating Sludge, we get the Crush Tusk, which, well, teaches the Crush Synergy. Man, they're giving Tyrell everything, huh? But yeah, you can use it just like you were seeing throughout the Phantasma Bog. You just find some rock that's somewhat cracked there and you smash it and you can find some other things there is one thing that i'm gonna do with that in the very near future before i'm done here today but yeah only tyrell can equip it so let's just give that to him so yeah there are some other areas where we could use the crush synergy from before but I'm going to finish up my business in the region first before heading back there to put it to use. Okay, so, yeah, if you've already talked to Briggs, you got the Hermes water, use it on the dream tree, and see what happens. Hey, all right. Now, yeah, the lady was right. You, you do seem surprised to be healthy again. Who was talking to us there? Oh, hey! More genie members? Oh, well, he is Tyrell, so... Probably from his perspective, yeah. We were just, yeah, pouring some water on it. Oh, what does that even mean? Oh, okay. Ha ha. I'm not sure what this guy's problem is, but okay. Well, I want more gin, though. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. We're good now. Oh, yeah. The other, uh, elder tree in the Kalima forest there, along with Tret. 
or Wisdom Tree, or whatever. I can't keep the names of all these trees straight in my head. There's a lot of big trees around here. It's a forest. What did you expect? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. We still got some things to wrap up here first, but yeah. Well, evidently... Why don't you look up your encyclopedia? Well, yeah, what did you expect? It's a JRPG. Oh, um, yeah, evidently. I was kind of there. No, absolutely not. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Why not? We were going to be heading in that area anyway, so we might as well. Apparently, Matthew really can be talked into anything, huh? Alright. Okay, so now that we've cured the dream tree there, some people have even more stuff to say, though. I'm not going to talk to everybody. I'm just going to talk to a few people who I think have relevant stuff to say. Oh, uh, well, we're not really from the city or anything like that, but okay. Well, Amiti is, but yeah. Oh, good for you. Yeah, at least this place is rolling now. Oh, well, yeah, you probably need that in the cold there. Mmm, garlic butter. Yeah, we couldn't go in here before. There was, like, the doorway was blocked there. Like, some roots or whatever. Same thing for using the Hermes water on the dream tree itself. Whoa! Holy cow! Better watch out for that. Let's see, before going out to the branches of the tree, go up here and we get a really good piece of armor. The Ninja Garb. Not only does it have really good defense at this point in the game, I think anyone can equip it. And it boosts your agility by 30. And it also has a little bit of Jupiter resistance, so I don't really care about that. But it's there, and yeah, it's a really good piece of armor there. Another way to manipulate the agility of my party members now that I'm going to be getting rid of the Elven shirt. And if you go around here, we get the Virtuous Armlet. And that one... Let's see, where is it? Ah, there we go. Well, yeah, it has really good defense. It increases, I think that's some elemental power there. And you could use it to heal someone for 100 HP. I'm going to be rearranging my equipment in the very near future. So I'll worry about distributing that stuff later. Not today. Not today. we still got some uh, other business to take care of. And I want to get down to the, uh, what is it, the dream leaf tree or whatever this tree is called the one in the southeast here oh um, yeah seems like a good name to me why not okay game there you go oh you're welcome hmm oh well i thought we were looking for laurel there but I suppose they're right next to each other, so... Yeah, sure, why not? Well... Okay... Oh... Alright, I'm... Not really sure what you're... So upset about all of a sudden... Uh, I don't know what's wrong with her, but... Okay... Oh, yeah, so it is. I would think alchemy would be modern medicine, but okay. So yeah, for saving the dream tree, now we can finally get a dream leaf. If you recall, there was an inn that they were saying that, you know, you use 
Dream leaves there, you can... Well, something will happen when you do that. So, we'll be going back there eventually. But for now, just make sure to get that dream leaf. Oh, is it? I wasn't really paying attention to that. But yeah, now the gate is open, so you can go straight from Kalima Village to Saha Town there. No world map or anything for that part, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, it's your town. Yeah, all these trees have, in the village here, have different names and stuff. But uh, I thought there was one more guy around here. No, I guess we're good then. Okay, so if you recall, previously we, or I moved one a, a little stone pillar in the southwest part of the Saha Cistern. But now, but we couldn't have done anything with that anyway at the time. But now that we've got the quest chest, we can! All you gotta do, use the synergy there. Kind of like the grind synergy in the Lost Age. It removes boulders out of your way that are sufficiently cracked there. Just jump over here and we can get another genie to join. And let's see, this one... I think it's just another, uh, or what is it? Oh, no, I was thinking of something else. Uh, this one restores the synergy for your entire party, but it's a bit weaker than the Ether Genie, but, well, eh, it's still a pretty good Genie there, so, yeah, we needed a lot more Jupiter Gen, because a lot of the best classes in the game require those. But can we find our way through Kalima Forest to meet up with Laurel? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun, Dark Dawn. This is a Chi Bailey signing off. Have a good day!